everyone, I'm Yalda. Welcome back to my channel, Eat, Burn, Sleep. Today I'm talking to you about something really unusual these days, which is moderation. I don't know if you have noticed, uh, or I don't know if I'm the only one noticing it, but everyone seems to have gone a bit extreme these days around the world, whether it is politically, religiously, when it comes to health, when it comes to working out. I take a great interest in health, um, not in terms of looks, but in terms of actually being healthy because of my journey and the two autoimmune issues I had to overcome. What I have learned so far is the power of moderation. Today, if you scroll through Instagram, everyone's doing crazy yoga moves or lifting crazy weights or going on extreme diets. And, and you know, when I look around me at the people who have lived the longest around me, three of my grandparents, parents have lived well into their 90s, uh, coming from um, underdeveloped countries, so have they, they, they have really bitten the, the national average. And they were very moderate people. They did everything in moderation. You never hear of um, top sportsmen living extremely long lives, because you know what? Working out at a very high intensity increases your inflammation levels and is not good for you. Um, so I want to talk today about this. Given that I follow a certain lifestyle, I eat paleo, I receive sometimes messages on Instagram saying, oh, is it okay to have a little bit of sugar? It absolutely is. I believe in the 80-20 rule. I believe that we should be um, good anti-inflammatory 80% of the time, but 20% of the time, We've got to enjoy ourselves because 60% of the neurotransmitters are located in the gut. If you're stressed about your food, your gut flora is going to go funny and that's completely counterproductive. There is something to be said about these trends we see, vegan, gluten-free. These people are not crazy. There is a reason why um, these things are working out for some people. England is a, for example, is a country where traditional people were eating a lot of potatoes, okay? Pasta is something from the Med and the Italians would have a small portion starter. Nowadays, you have a lot of people who eat wheat three times a day. They'll be having some wheat bix or all brand wheat-based breakfast. Then they'll have a sandwich for lunch, yes, maybe with a side salad and with a few fruit, but it's wheat again. And then in the evening, they might be having some pizza or they might be having some pasta. Okay, with variations, but it's sweet again. We never used to eat wheat three times a day. And the amount of gluten in the crops today are much higher than they used to be. People actually seem surprised when I talk about this. It's because gluten is what gives elasticity, what makes the focaccia so yummy. And so what sells the most are the crops with higher um, gluten content. So today when you buy something with gluten it has much more gluten than 50 years ago and we eat three times as much of it. So of course our systems can't deal with it and that's one extreme. Another extreme for example is the way we consume or not consume meat products. So a lot of people who go vegan feel absolutely amazing at the beginning and, and for a right reason. They cut out dairy, which has changed, and I talk about dairy in a post on uh, my blog, eatburdensleep.com, and I'll do a video about it. And they cut out meat products. Meat products, per se, are not bad for you. It's about what kind of meat and how much you have. Same thing, if you think of your grandparents, they didn't eat meat twice a day. Beef was something once a week, and often it was grass-fed. It wasn't mass-produced the way it is today. The product that we find today on the shelves is no good. So what I like to do with my lifestyle and what I try and, and show people which has worked for me and hopefully will work for people is to eat less animal products. So you know if you want to learn more about which meats, what kind of fish, how much dairy, how much gluten, how much grains, how much sugar, do uh, follow my videos. I'm going to go very deep in all these topics in the videos to come. But as a starting point, the message I want to convey is let's just try and be moderate about everything as a starting point. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful and not too intense. I, I can go quite intense. <laughs> it was all very confusing for me when I started my health journey, but now 
um, all this has become part of the way I see things and hopefully I can share as much information as possible with you and choices will become much easier as we go. Uh, do subscribe on my channel if you want to watch more videos and learn more about these topics. Eat, burn, sleep. I'm also on Instagram. I have my blog, eatburnsleep.com. A bientôt. I'll see you next time.